Hi, this is using the Flash Video Encoder and creating a custom player for FLV files. This is the Flash Video Encoder and to import videos to it you can click the Add button. You can also go up to File Add or you can sim simply drag and drop a file. And once a file is in here it shows you the location of it the settings and the status. Right now it's waiting to be exported. So with it selected you go to settings and it gives you a preview of the video along with a time slider that you can scrub to see it. The first tab down here are the profiles, the preset uh, attributes for an exported file which you can change in this drop down menu. Otherwise you can go in and change everything um, from the video to the audio and so on. Under video it lets you choose the codec you want to use to encode it, the frame rate you want it as, as and also the quality. Under audio you can choose the data rate or quality that the audio is exported as, the cue point you can set up and that allows you to cue actions within an SWF. Um, they can be triggered later on. Crop and resize. You can crop here and it will show you visually where the cropping will occur in the video. You can also completely resize the video and keep it to the same aspect ratio either by pixels or percent and then you can trim the video's length by using these sliders here and it shows you the new duration and in and out points. So I'll reset all that and again if you have changes made that you want to use on multiple videos you can save it. Right now it says custom. But I'll hit OK and then start the queue and down here it shows me elapsed time, the time left, and a preview of the video which will animate as it's being encoded, and the overall progress. Now you can put in multiple videos up here and each one can have their own independent settings but it'll run through and just export all of them and it'll give you your FLV file. And I'll just wait for that to get done and then I can open up Flash. And once in Flash, I'm going to create a new Flash document. Uh, mine's going to be a default Action Script 3 document. And up in Components, if you don't have the Components tab, you go to Window Components and that'll open it up and under components you're just going to drag the FLV playback to your document. <coughs> and under the parameters tab um, there's a lot of different options you can change for this when it's selected. Um, the autoplay you can change and that will um, make it play on load if it's true, otherwise if it's false it won't play right away by itself. Uh, the skin you can change and there are a lot of different skins to choose from. Right now mine is skin over. The It goes over the video and it's play seek mute. It has a play button, the seek bar, and a mute button. If you click the little hourglass it opens up a new window which gives you all the different options for it. Um, and this gives you a bunch of skin over and skin unders. The skin unders are under the video and they are pretty descriptive in what they have. Play, stop, seek, caption, volume button is going to have a play button, a stop button, seek controls, a caption button, and a volume button. So you can select all those and then also change the color here to whatever you'd want and hit OK. 
the skin auto hide. Um, once the mouse goes off of the video, the skin uh, player will fade out and you'll just see the video if that's set to true. Skin background alpha is a number range from 0 to 1 and that is how um, see-through the video will be. 0 being completely transparent and 1 being completely opaque. The skin background color again, you can change that here to any color you want. And the volume is also arranged from 0 to 1. How loud the video will play if it doesn't have a volume bar, or what the volume bar will be defaulted as. And then source is the most important. That is what video will be playing. And if you hit the uh, magnifying glass for that, it gives you the path and um, I can open my FLV file here. I have the box check that says match source FLV dimensions. So the same dimensions will uh, from my FLV file will go to the SWF. So I hit OK and my video got a lot bigger. So one important thing to remember is that the background has to be the same size. So my videos uh, were a little bit bigger than this, so I'm going to change the background. Otherwise, you'll either have a lot of empty space or your video will be cut off wherever your background ends. And then you can go to Publish, uh, Publish Settings. If you need an HTML document, you can have that checked or not. Otherwise, you just need the SWF. And once you do publish it, in order to play the video, you're going to need the original FLV file, this SWF file that you're creating, and it'll also create another SWF file for the controls um, down here. And then if you export an HTML file, it'll obviously have an HTML file along with a JavaScript file to allow it to play in most browsers. So hopefully that'll help get some videos um, on the web if you want your own custom player. And if you want some more tutorials, go to ClassicTriple.com. Thank you.